All right, Shalom. First off, I'm going to give all praises on that glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Wadash, double honors unto the apostles of the great millstone and teaching real well, peace and blessings unto the elect. So, Brother Benai from the great millstone Dallas branch. It's going to be a quick video, man, but Lord, what is edifying. And as you can, uh, as you know, you know what I'm saying, a lot of brothers have been going in on this movie, Leave the World Behind, you know what I'm saying, basically showing how well, basically predictive programming, how Esau is going to bring this uh, <laughs> this blackout, you know what I'm saying, where he's going to shut down society society for a short period of time in order for him to, to establish this new system and bring this new system forth. And so willing, uh, and so people will be willing to accept it, man. You know what I'm saying? And before that movie came out, before all these movies, that, these apocalyptic movies that Esau made, you know what I'm saying? With these predictive programming, the world, the scriptures have been telling you and the apostles and elders have been telling you this for, for years now. You know what I'm saying? They were the first one to tell you this, man. Not not Esau through his predictive uh, programming, through these different films that he's making. You know what I'm saying? It's been the Lord, man. But our people have always refused wisdom. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to get this right here in Proverbs chapter 1. And verse, and I'll start at verse 20 in the GNT. It says, listen, wisdom is calling out in the streets and marketplaces calling loudly at the city gates and wherever people come together. And where is that at, man? The highways and byways. That's why brothers go out, you know what I'm saying, on the various days throughout the week, you know what I'm saying, whether it be on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, man, you know what I'm saying, to where people con congregate, you know what I'm saying, and the main places that people congregate is downtown. You know, they like to go to these different restaurants and clubs, you know what I'm saying, they like to be on the scene, you know what I'm saying, and that's where, you know what I'm saying, we set up posts and we and we bring out the word, man. You know what I'm saying? Because that's true wisdom. You know, you're not going to find this wisdom inside the church houses, man. And that's what is something that we're trying to let our people know. Because in, the, in these different church houses, all they're telling our people is that uh, uh, peace and safety, you know what I'm saying, and prosperity. When I mean, really, like the scriptures say, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden, sudden destruction shall come upon them. You know what I'm saying? Roughly paraphrasing. And that's what we getting ready to see take place and happen onto the majority of our people the majority of you so-called negro latinos and native american well disaster is about to hit you and you're not going to be expecting it man you know what i'm saying but you do have that remnant all right on the nation of israel that's paying attention and is spiritually prepping right now you know what i'm saying because just like in that movie um leave the world behind you had this uh this character played by um uh david well it's not david slocky uh the dude from Footloose, man. Fuck. Kevin Bacon. Yeah. You had Kevin Bacon character. You know what I'm saying? After the shit went down and, then, you know, Ethan Hawke and his family tried to leave. And, you know what I'm saying? That Jake and his daughter was trying to figure out what was going on. Well, the Jake knew about his neighbor and how his neighbor was was prepping. That has been always prepping and been in that mindset. And they finally went to him. You know what I'm saying? And trying to trying to seek it or seeking help. And he told him, like, yeah, y'all y'all should know what's going on. Because they was asking, man, what's going on? And he was like, y'all should know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Because he's been taking over that time while everybody was chilling and, and going on with life as usual. And you can take that in the spirit as the elect being spiritually uh, 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 prepped or prepping spiritually, man. You know what I'm saying? Laying up those treasures in heaven because you can you can store all the shit you want, you know what I'm saying, in goods cornerly. But like the scripture saying in the book of Isaiah, you know what I'm saying, chapter 55, my thoughts are not your thoughts and my ways are not your ways. You know what I'm saying? You can you can come up with different scenarios in your head and try to plan out different different things on how you want, you know, how things may go. But the Lord is ultimately in control. Like it says in the book of Proverbs, man, there are many devices in a man's heart. But the, the, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand, you know what I'm saying? Just like you have these people now, the doomsday prepper that show these people spend their time, you know, what I'm saying storing up all this food. They run drills with their with their families every week. On what to do when 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 shit goes down. Well, you can do all that you you know you can do all that shit every week, all you want to, man. But the Lord can have it go down a, a different way. He can have it to where you can't get to that food. Then what you gonna do? He can have it to where you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you at work and your kids at school and the shit go down. Then what you gonna do? You know what I'm saying. That's why it's important for us to spiritually prep. You know what I'm saying. That's why we're going through these trials and tribulation right now. We're going through the fire right now, you know what I'm saying, and going through this training right now. That way, when the test does come, we can be ready for it, man. You know what I'm saying? Because these people are not going to be ready. These people are going to be like Ethan Hawke and, uh, and that Jake character. You know what I'm saying? 
going out trying to seek what's going on. Because when you continue reading down, I'm going to keep going. It's Proverbs 1 and 22 in the GNT. Foolish people, how long will you want to be foolish? How long will you enjoy making fun of knowledge? Will you never learn? And that's what these people do. You know what I'm saying? They make fun of, 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 of uh, you know, of the Hebrew Israelites, man. You know what I'm saying? They, they make these different videos like Mike Epps and uh, Ricky Harris, like this dude, Mill Wills, you know, they dress up and, and go out and, you know what I'm saying, and, and mock, you know what I'm saying, the, the messengers, man, you know? It says, verse 24, what's like in verse 23, it says, listen, when I uh, reprimand you, I will give you good advice and share my knowledge with you. And that's what the Lord is doing right now via his man. You know what I'm saying? That's why we're out on the highways and the byways right now. That's the Lord trying to offer you advice. You see, he's trying to give you wisdom, trying to give our people wisdom. Verse 24, I've been calling you, inviting you to come, but you would not listen. You paid no attention to me, you see? And that's what these people do when they walk past brothers when they're in camp, man. They walk past, you know what I'm saying? They ain't paying no attention to the message that's going out. And that's really the Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai extending the, that, that hand of mercy. All right. And this grace period before these doors of mercy actually actually close, man, and then it's going to be all out judgment. You see, but our people pay no attention. Why are they more? They're more uh, uh, concerned about forwarding themselves in this world. You see, they're more concerned about fulfilling the lust of their own flesh, you know, rather than being concerned about your how about Shimmy, I was shine his will. Like it says in the, uh, uh, I think it's Timothy's man, how it says roughly paraphrasing the Salaki that I'm quoting, you know, what I'm saying I'm driving right now. But um, like the scriptures quote, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I think it's in uh, first or second Timothy is about, you know, in the last time there shall be perilous times. So men will be lovers of themselves. You know what I'm saying? Love, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of the most high. You see? And that's what these that's the mindset of these people not paying attention to your how about Shimei Oshan in this in his mercies that he's that he's. Extending his arm with man, giving these people the opportunity to come into this spiritual ark before he brings the flood, man. And we know this time that flood is going to be by fire, you see, by thermonuclear fire, man. But these people are paying no attention unto the Lord. It says, verse 25, you have ignored all my advice and have not been willing to let me correct you, you see, because these people don't want to take correction from the Lord, you know. You can't tell Jake nothing, man. Jake always want to be right about something, even when they fucking wrong, man. They they too proud to humble themselves down and accept, you know what I'm saying? True wisdom, true correction, man. You know what I'm saying? Which is the which is the ways of your how about shimmy how was shot? It says, verse 26. So when you get in trouble, I will laugh at you. I will make fun of you when terror strikes. You see? Now they don't they don't read that at church. You know what I'm saying? They saying God is all love in these church houses, but here it is. The Lord is saying when you when when hell or when you get in trouble, when he, when terror comes on you, you know, he's going to laugh at you, man. That doesn't sound like an all loving God to me, man. You see, the Lord is going to laugh when you in trouble, when you when you starving, when you and your children are starving to death, man. When you getting ate up by different animals, you know, what I'm saying when you get, you know, these women out here getting ravished, you know, what I'm saying by my, by, you know, raped to death by multiple groups of men. The Lord is going to laugh at you, man. It says, so when you get in trouble, I will laugh at you. I will make fun of you when terror strikes. When it comes on you like a storm bringing fierce winds of trouble and you are in pain and misery, then you will call for wisdom, but I will not answer. You will look for me everywhere, but you will not find me. Yep, because we're coming into the time of the famine of the word, man. You know, just like we see in all these censorships, you know what I'm saying, brothers, more and more. As the days pass, you know what I'm saying? Esau is passing these different legislation, these different laws and taking, you know, restricting brothers, you know what I'm saying? Taking brothers the pages down, you know what I'm saying? Striking brothers' videos, making it hard for, for, for the truth, the truth to get out there, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord is bringing in the famine of the word. When the famine of the word comes in, that's the Lord closing those doors of mercy. You see, that's the grace period. When those when, when the famine of the word come, that means the grace period is over. You see, that means all out judgment is getting ready to take place. All right. And then it ain't nothing you can do, man. Just like during the time of Noah, when 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 the Lord told Noah to go into the ark and he told all and all the animals went into the ark. You know what I'm saying? And then he sealed the doors. That was it, man. Nobody couldn't get in and nobody couldn't come out. You see, that was the Lord. And that's what the Lord is doing right now. Like it says in the book of uh, Psalms 91, he that hideth in the secret place of the, uh, you know, in that secret place. 
You know what I'm saying? Shall be safe, rough, roughly paraphrasing, man. And that secret place is that spiritual arc, this, this, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. You see, and when the Lord cuts that off, you're not going to be able to obtain it. You're not. These people are going to be running to and fro like the scriptures say. You know, they're going to be running around everywhere trying to find the man of the Lord, trying to find those same people that they were mocking and making fun of while they walking past the camps and going to eat. You know what I'm saying? Smoking. You know what I'm saying? Doing all kind of manner of wickedness, man. Not paying attention. You know what I'm saying? When the time where well, they should have been paying attention, just like that story of the ant and the grasshopper, man. You see, while the ant was prepping and getting ready for winter, the grasshopper was just partying and bullshitting and playing around, man. As soon as winter came, that he was fucked. You know what I'm saying? And he went to the ant and trying to, and tried to get help from the ant. The ant told him to, 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 to go ahead and dance now. You see, that's 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 what the Lord is going to do to these people, man. You know, and he's gonna he's gonna use his man to do it. The, his, the man of the Lord are gonna mock you people when all hell breaks loose because we warned you, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone on down. You're not going to have no excuse, man. You know, the Lord is going to be righteous when he brings every bit of judgment upon you, people, and your children, man. You see? It's like it says in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9, and verse uh, 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 4. You know what I'm saying? It talks about setting that mark on the man that signed the on a, on a, on a, on a that sign that cry for all the abomination, abomination that be done in the midst of, man. You see? That mark is at the Y, that, that, that mark of exemption from judgment. You see? That's that seal, you know what I'm saying, that the Lord is going to put upon the elect that way when he send the angels out, because that's who that's who the Lord is talking to in Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 4. He's telling the angels this, you see, to go and set a mark on the man that signed his crime for, for, for all the abomination that be done in the midst of, man, you see? And what did he tell the angels to do to the rest of them? Well, he told them to not have pity, man. You know, matter of fact, let's see what it says. Let's see what that says in the, uh, the GNT, man. Just for edification, man. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 4 in the GNT. It says, go through the whole city of Jerusalem and put a mark on the forehead of everyone who is distressed and troubled because of all the disgusting things being done in the city. You see, man, bro, you know what I'm saying? Lot, just like Lot, man, you know, set that mark, you know. It said everyone is crying, man, because the elect is crying out. You know what I'm saying? We don't like this shit. We don't like the way the earth is being ran. We don't like the mindset of the people and the philosophies that is being pushed out because wickedness is, is rampant. Like it says in Second Edges chapter 15, wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, man. You know, we don't like this shit, man. We crying out to the Lord to come to, to, to come establish righteous judgment, man. OK, to do away with all this wickedness, man. It says in Jerusalem is a city. It's a people before it's a place, man. Thus saith the scriptures, but verse five in the GNT, it says, I have heard the most, I heard the most I say to the other man and those men, like I said, are going into the angels, man. You see, follow me through the city and kill, spare no one, have mercy on no one, kill the old man, young man, young women, mothers and children. You see, the Lord said, Just kill every fucking body, man. Everybody who don't do, who don't have that mark of exemption. Kill them all, man. And don't have mercy. He's telling the angels, don't have mercy, man. You see, the angels ain't going to care because it's a newborn baby. The angels ain't going to care because it's a one or two year old. You see, the angels ain't going to care because, you the, 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 you know, the, your, the child is disabled or, or retarded, man. These angels go, are going to get busy, man. And judgment is going to come via, <laughs> like it says in the, uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 39, man. The teeth of wild beasts, hell, fire, you know, all these created for the for, uh, for vengeance, man. You see, and these people are going to be getting judged in all manners of, uh, of different types of ways, man. Being eaten alive by animals, man, being eaten by people because cannibalism is coming, man. You see, the Lord is a <laughs> the Lord is going to bring a famine on this place. OK, to where it's not going to be food. And these people are uh, so used to eating whenever they want to. that They're going to resort to eating, eating their first is going to be the all the animals are going to go. Then next, then next thing, what is going to be, it's going to be people. Like the scriptures say, man, the, the, these women are going to, they, they have, uh, uh, take the word, deciding, you know what I'm saying? They, they're children, man. You see, these people, these, these women are going to eat their children, you know, eating other people like it's nothing, man. It says, I'll read that one more time. Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 5, I have heard the most I say to the other men, follow me through the city and kill, spare no one, have mercy on no one. 
kill the old man, young man, young women, mother, and children. But do but don't touch anyone who has the mark on his forehead. You see? That mark of exemption, man. The elect are gonna be taxed protected. Psalms 91 goes into their protection. They're gonna be a thousand gonna fall on our left side and ten thousand on our right side, roughly paraphrasing. But it shall not come nigh thee or thy or thy, or thy dwelling, meaning your family. You know what I'm saying? From you doing this work, from you believing, you know what I'm saying? Your family will be protected, man. And that thousand on one side and ten thousand on the other is going into this massive judgment when the Lord sends those angels out, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to get busy, man. To send out to usher out his order and judgment on every individual person, man, for all the shit that they've been doing, man. Because everybody's gonna have to pay, man. There's nothing that you've done, and there's nothing that you've done that you're not gonna pay for, whether it be good or evil. Does say up the scriptures, man. You see? So let's go back to uh let's go back to Proverbs and I'll end it off, man. Proverbs chapter one. All right, let's go back to verse uh 28. It says, Then you will call for wisdom, but I will not, but I will not answer. Yeah, you best believe these people are gonna be crying unto the Lord, man, when all this shit takes place. And the Lord is not gonna answer them, man. It says, but I will not answer them. You may you may look for me everywhere, but you will not find me. You have never you have never had you have never had any use for knowledge and have always refused to obey the Lord. You have never wanted my advice or paid any attention when I corrected you. So then you will get what you deserve and your own actions will make you sick. You see, these people are going to be sick. Hey, wisdom of Solomon, man. We fool account of their lives uh, as madness, man. You see? And it goes on to say how how they 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 never came into the way of righteousness, man. All they lay wasted, they basically they wasted their time in wickedness. You best believe these people are gonna be wow, why did I do that? Why didn't I listen? Just like those people during the time of Noah, man. And that's the spirit we're talking about knowing it's raining right now, man. You best believe when it when, when hey man when when it started raining you bet the fear that these people had they fucking heart fell into their goddamn stomach man. You know, people running around panic, but it was no escaping man. Your only way to escape those doors was already the doors were already closed man. You had your chance and then now it's time to reap what you sow. You see, just like the time that we coming into right now man, these people are getting ready to reap what they sow. Since you didn't want to pay attention to the Lord. Well, the Lord is not going to pay attention to you, man. Thus saith the scriptures, man. Thus saith the Lord, you know. It says, inexperienced people will die because they rejected wisdom. Stupid people are destroyed by their own lack of concern. Man, these people, are not, <laughs> they lack of concern about what's taking place on the planet Earth. Clearly, there is something happening. Clearly, there is something wrong with the way the planet Earth is being run. The Lord is showing signs everywhere. And these people are still not concerned. Well, that lack of concern is going to destroy you and get you killed. But however, verse 33, but whoever listens to me will have security. He will be safe with no reason to be afraid, man. You see why? Because we feared the Lord, man. And we took heed. Lord willing, I'm a part of that number. Lord willing that you're a part of that number. You see? This grace period that the Lord allowed and gave us right now, we took we're taking it serious, man, and repenting and turning back unto the Lord and and, and, and making that foundation with the fear of your by Shimmy was shy, man. You see? And the Lord is building us up with this training that we're going through. You know, in the times of trouble, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we in the flesh, we may you're gonna be like shit, kind of shaking a little bit, but ultimately you're gonna be you're gonna revert back to the spirit and you're gonna be uh like the scriptures say, Isaiah 33 and uh, uh six, man. You know what I'm saying? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, man. And strength of salvation. You see? I'll read verse 33 again and end it off. Verse uh, Proverbs 1 and 33 in the GNT. But whosoever listens to me will have security. They will be safe with no reason to be afraid. So with that, I want to give all praises on their glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahakwadash, double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone, the teacher of well, peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.